Queen picks up the Monolith, able to get the Sweeper and the Rage Tower on the right side. Flinger's gonna bust open. Super Minions, one dies right away. They need to get the Town Hall as Queen steps to the left and he's out of time. Is he gonna time fail to get the Town Hall? Four, three, two, one. We're in, ladies and gentlemen, with Navi versus early attacks today in the Nepal Cup and they accepted me into clan late, all right? This isn't my fault. I've been trying to get in for a long time, but we missed the first attack. Rip. Synthi with an 85%. What went wrong? The first attacker for Navi here today. Let's see what he did before the next attack starts. Early Warden Bloom. Boom. Invis spell. Clone spell. Sure, sure. Super Archers. Was the Tornado Trap there? I think so. Super Archers are low, but they're still alive. Ice Golem in the mix. But we get the Town Hall. One more Invis. Can we get some more value there? I gotta go fast through the replay because the next attack's gonna start. He doesn't get this Inferno. Doesn't get this Expo, which is a little awkward. But the Queen in on the right side, fighting the Ice Golems, and we just got a 4 exit. He moves around the right side of the base, and it just doesn't work out. King Queen take a lot of damage. Royal Champions in. He's got a free spell. He's got some super barbs, but he didn't bring wall breakers for them, so they have to bust through manually, and the heroes just die. They just die. Rip Synthi on the first attack, but we got Yada in. Here we go. With a little warden walk on the right side of the base, it's going to be a super bowler. Smash, he's got an E-Titan as well. Flame Flinger. Working on the toe upside. Okay, dokie. Cool, cool, cool. There's a rage for the warden with the healers. Down goes the cannon. Warden already fought the enemy royal champion, which is a nice bonus. Cool. Queen on the right side. Uh Okay, nice. The bowlers pull the warden down. Eagle knocks onto bowlers. That's a little awkward. Not ideal. Uh, it takes a lot of damage. Can the healers get that bowler back up to full health? That would be nice. There's a jumping spell to get through into the middle section of the base. Cool. Ice golems on defense. Here we go. Still got a warden ability. E Titan. King on the bottom side of the base. One bowler goes to the outside. Mm, a little awkward. Maybe he'll come back inside, we'll see. Ice Golem still freezing us up. Healer's being a little wonky here, but they are trying to keep that one bowler alive. He freezes the Expo to make sure that bowler doesn't die too early. Nicely done there. Witch on the bottom side trying to get this Eagle Artillery. He's still holding on to this Warden ability. There he goes, Eternal Tome popped, keeping everybody alive for about nine seconds. King, Royal Champion, working together here on the left side of the base. Okay. Skeleton spell in the middle, one more Rage. Invis as well. We get through that last Inferno Tower. Flame Flinger did take the Town Hall, but it did not get the Monolith. Champion moving around the left side. We got a Freeze. We got Champion ability. We got Queen ability. Warden's getting low on health. Healer's trying to keep him alive. Bowler's getting wrecked by the Monolith. Down goes that last Expo. Queen beating on a good wall here at least. Balloons for an Archer Tower. Queen can bust through the wall with her ability. 40 seconds on the clock. Remember, he does have that Freezing spell. Queen takes out the Monolith, and it's looking great for Yada with the first attack for early attacks to take an early lead. Ooh, baby. RC gets through the last Tesla and he's got an extra freeze spell to swag. Nicely done from Yada. And early attacks take the early lead over Na'Vi. Stars is in with the second attack for Na'Vi. We got six lightning spells. Oh, we got an earthquake. Yeah. We got some Lalo. Here we go. It's a good day today. It is a good day today. Drew with the 43 months. Let's go. Hey, yo, happy birthday, Drew. I know why it's a good day. Let's go. Drew just turned 15. <laughs> uh, zap quake for, what did he get? An expo, a rage tower, an inferno tower. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Queen on the bottom side of the base. Here we go. Queen wrapping around toward the bottom side. Gonna take the Archer Tower, gonna take the air defense. 
She's still gonna keep walking to the right. Nice. Early attacks seem to be running the uh, toxic legends bases today, man. Against Navi, that's interesting. He's gonna let Queen go all the way over here to where the other wall break is. Ice Golem to join the party over there. King popping ability. Cool. Ice Golem with freezes. Poison spell is in for the archers, for the headhunter, for the E Titan. Single target Inferno Tower. Wall breaker targets a good wall for the queen to have access all the way to the town hall. Question is, does she live long enough to get there? Does he have to use another freeze? He might need to if he wants her to get the town hall. Dude, one more freeze and Queen could have lived long enough to get the town hall. Instead, he's just got the Lalo moving in on the top side of the base. He's focusing on that with the battle blip for the town hall. Queen also going for that town hall. There's his own rage right next to the rage tower. Town hall drops. Balloons moving through. Hopefully we can dodge the Giga Poison. Freeze spell is in. Haste spell. Skeleton spell. Another freeze spell. Balloons. He still has a lot of them. An extra Lava Hound from the bottom side of the base. Royal Champion still has ability. Skeletons are distracting. We're fighting the enemy Royal Champion. Down she goes. Balloons haste their way into the monolith. And it's looking great for Mr. Stars. He always finds a way to get it done. Let's go. And he makes it look easy too. Royal Champion still alive. Grand Warden. A Lava Hound. At like full health. Jeez, there's the first three star for Navi. Hey, Roya. Ilzen with some twin hog action. No healers, though. He's got a golem, two ice golems, a bat spell, and a skeleton spell as he does this bat skelly donut. Let's go. Take out the CC, take out the monolith, and boom. Perfect start. Okay. Flame Flinger on the right side. Barbarian King on the top side. Cool, cool, cool. Queen on the upper left. King Headhunter to take out the enemy Queen. Nice, nice, nice. Queen gets that bomb tower so the Barbarians don't have to worry about it. King going straight with a scatter shot. Nice. There's Golem and some Wizards on the left side of the base. Interesting. Flame Flinger still getting some value over there on the right side. Queen, is she meant to go all the way for the Town Hall? She might. Unicorn can start getting her back up to full health. That Golem Wizard combo on the left side still doing some good work. King goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life. Flame Flinger taking some damage from the Mortar now. Baby Dragon, so we can try to push the Queen inside. Alright. Queen's low, Queen's low, but she's okay. Still has ability, barely. Tornado trap spinning. Is the Queen gonna go inside? That invis spell did a whole lot of nothing, or no? It's keeping the Queen safe from the Giga Inferno beams for now. Skeleton trap is at a really awkward time here as she has to waste some of her ability shots on the skeletons. Can she get the Town Hall before dying? Yes! Town Hall secured. Flame Flinger troops come out. I don't know what he had in there, but they died pretty quickly. Now we send all the bacon from the top right side of the base. Early freeze. Royal Champion. Grand Warden. Head Hunters. Warden ability in 3, 2, 1. Boom. Invincibility for 9 seconds. We drop the Rage Bell as well. Head Hunters zooming across the map. Going to get a couple shots off on the Champion, but then they're going to die. They don't quite take her out. No healing spell here. We do have 3 freezes. There's a lot of base left. With no healing, this is looking a little wonky. We got a Yeti and an Ice Golem here on the bottom side of the base. No backup Headhunters, just backup Hog Riders. We're a champion getting wrecked. How does the Warden die early there? What the? How did the Warden die before the champion? That made zero cents and zero dollars. Royal Champion on defense stays alive, takes care of all the Hog Riders, and this fizzles out. Navi get their first defense, and we're going to be all tied up. What was Cynthia's fail in 85? Is this going to get 85 to tie it? No, which means Navi are actually going to have the lead. Oh my, this one's an 85 building lead for Navi. Gaku is in with the next attack for Navi. I with up Lex Toast. Here we go with some Queen Charge Twin Hog action of his own. Golf Machine with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's go. Thank you so much for that support, Golf Machine. How you doing? How you doing? 
queen here on the bottom side of the base. We got a skeleton spell. We got no healing spells whatsoever. All right. Just trying not to rage too early. I think he's going to be able to get away with it for now. Waiting until she's about to be in range of the scatter shot. Now he deploys the first rage. One more Coca Loon searching for traps. He's got a battle blimp currently activated. Queen not going for the scatter shot. Looks like she's going to walk toward the Ego Artillery. A couple Teslas there should continue to pull her to the right. King toward the Queen. He might go in for the scatter shot perfectly. There's the next rage. Queen taking way too much damage. Holy heck. The rage tower on the Expos are no joke. Here come CC troops. They're splitting a little bit. King does take the scatter. Then the CC troops go back to the Queen. Everything's working out for now. Sweeper's going to be really annoying. Against the healers. But the rage spell keeping his queen alive. Oh, it's getting really close. He already used her ability, so he's got to go with the invis spell. Sure. Super hog riders on the right, but some of the healers are going to switch right away. He's just going to send a battle blimp for the town hall, huh? This could get sketchy. This could get really sketchy. Queen takes the middle inferno. There's a skeleton spell to help distract some of the defenses. Distract the royal champion. We've already got cleanup working on the right side of the base. Healers on the. Hog Riders, because they switched off the Queen. There's the Battle Blimp. We're going to get ready with the Warden ability right now. Boom. Battle Blimp soaring for the Town Hall. Hog Riders, Headhunters safe as we fight the Scattershot on the right side. As we fight the Royal Champion. What's in the Battle Blimp? He's got a Rage Bill. Probably a Yeti Bomb. With the Free Spill. Invested. Down goes the Town Hall. Super Hog Riders. Royal Champion. Grand Warden making their way through. A couple more backup Hog Riders from the top side with the Wizards for cleanup. is looking decent. Healers getting inside that Rage. Getting some of these Super Hog Riders back up to full health. Royal Champion at full health. We got the ability. We got two Head Hunters that we send from the left side here to try and hit the King a couple times at least before they die. And they do. Diggy stuns the Monolith. King still has a lot of HP though. This might actually be a little troublesome to get through the King. But the Poison Lizard. The Poison Lizard comes in clutch, dude. That Poison Lizard is so good when he stays alive. Able to fight the King on the back side of the base. We got a Goblin to help out. Super Riders helping out. 17 seconds for cleanup, and he's got it. Royal Champion just needs to get all the way back to the core for the Clan Castle building. Plenty of time on the clock. Another three-star for Gaku. Another three-star for Na'vi. Kuma is in with the next attack for early attacks. More zaps, more quakes on the top side of the base. Very nice. What do you get? An Inferno Tower, a Rage Tower, two Builder Huts. Cool. Some Sneaky Goblin funneling. King Queen on the top side. Skeleton Spell to help out. Golem, Log Launcher, bunch of Skelly Traps. Nice. Loons on the left, doing a little bit of funneling for an Archer Tower. Wizard as well. I think the Queen was meant to go left with the Log Launcher and the Golem, but she's stepping right with the King. It's a little awkward. Oh well. What's he got in that Log Launcher? Some Yetis to help the Golem? Sure. King Queen doing a good job together at least. Queen gonna get that Eagle and then switch over to the Hound. She switches to the Hound first, but the Golemites will actually pick up that Eagle Artillery. Do the Yeti Mites pick up this left Inferno? Not quite. They damaged it, but they did not take it out. Poison Spell already deployed. Queen will be able to deal with all these pups. Now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get either of these core Inferno Towers. And I think he was relying on the Queen to at least pick up one of them. That's why Queen was supposed to go left with the Log Launcher. Because the Log Launcher opened up the walls for her to snipe at least one on the that side. Oh, well. More balloons from the right side of the base. And here we go. Lalo in from the bottom side. Got to make it all the way through the town hall, the rage tower, all those expos. We're going to use the early haste to get through the monolith. But Teslas are messing up this pathing a little bit. We're going to start freezing the town hall, even though it's not even awake until after the freeze wears off. Hound, headhunter, rage. He's got a couple balloons on the town hall. Tornado trap behind the town hall. Royal champion to the core. Diggy can start stunning. These Inferno Towers, but this is looking pretty sloppy. Queen gets the right side expo. Last Lava Hound already pops. He's got a freeze. He's got an invis. He's got two more head hunters. Warden's still alive, but he dips out and goes with the Queen. Champion trying to clear the core. We might use her invis just to get some of these defenses. Actually, she's going to go for the Queen. And then we're going to freeze. 
That might have been worth it. She takes out the queen. She takes out the bomb tower. The expo's low, but she goes for the inferno tower first. Takes that out. Diggy's already dead. No more stun effect, but down goes the expo. Queen warden on the bottom side of the base. He might just squeak by with this. It was sloppy, but I think he gets the job done. Archer on the top side. Headhunter for the core. Clan castle building. 23 seconds on the clock. And it's looking decent. Kuma. It's either a triple or a 99. He sends two headhunters to go get that CC building. He has a lot of HP. Queen taking out the buildings on the left side here. Where are we going to path here to go get that Archer Queen pass? She's going up for the storage. Now inside. Five, four, three, two, one. She can reach it. One shot. And she gets it. The clock. I thought it said zero, but it's a triple for Kuma. And we're still tied up. Eight to eight. Kazuma in with the next attack for Na'Vi. Now Na'Vi still have a five building lead, but this match is close. Anything could happen, and let's see what Kazuma's able to do with the twin hogs. We're seeing quite a few twin hogs now in the last few attacks. Cool. Queen on the top side of the base. After the air defense goes down, we'll be able to drop some healers. There we go. Queen fights the king with the help of the headhunter. Sneaky goblin. Testing by the storage, then four more to make sure that storage goes down, even with the builder huts there. Okay, okay. Oh, they don't quite get it, that's so awkward. Looks like he was relying on that for good pathing. I think she'll still go the way he wants her to, maybe? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Builder's repairing all the way back up to full health, the storage, rage tower goes off, expo doing double damage, even with the invis spell there, she goes to ability. That's wonky. Super minions come out of the defensive clan castle and they are ready to do double damage as well. Uh oh. Oh, he's so lucky they're actually going for a healer. I think if those super minions targeted the queen, she'd already be dead. That was kind of lucky. I'm not going to lie. Those super minions were doing double damage for a few seconds. He lost one healer. He lost the queen ability. He's already used a lot of spells. But he's still alive. He's still in this. Queen takes the expo. Takes the Rage Tower. Nice Coco Loon finds a trap. Rage. Warden Statue. Gig Inferno hitting the Queen, but she's still able to get through the Town Hall. Yes. King on the bottom side by himself going for that Eagle Artillery and the Hog Riders from the right. Here we go. Queen got that Town Hall. Now she has the Tornado Trap. She's going to die. He decides to let her die. Not going to invest any more spells there. Focusing on the Hog Riders now. King still distracting some defenses, but he goes down two. Free spell, headhunter, stone slammer. It's a very interesting choice. He's holding on to this warden ability. He's still going all out. Kazuma wants the three star. Stone slammer pops open. More super hogs come out of the CC there. His royal champion is still looking healthy with that rage spell in the middle. With that warden ability getting them through with an extra 9 seconds of invincibility. He's got a chance, but he's got to make it all the way through the back end. He saved a rage. He saved a headhunter. He saved a free spell. There's the rage. There's the free spell. Nice and early. Headhunter inside the rage. Damaging the royal champion. We still got a poison lizard alive as well, but the headhunter takes her out. Royal champion still has ability. Time might be the biggest issue. 18 seconds. Pop the road chip ability. Down goes the last archer terror. Down goes the last double cannon. 95%, 96, 97, 98. He's going fast. 99 and 100. It looks sketchy, but he always manages to pull through. Another three star for Navi. Hades is in with 11 Valkyries. And a need titan, four healers, and three inferno baby dragons. And shout out to Hades for not accepting me into clan. Till after the first attack. LOL. Actually, he still didn't even accept me to clan. Navi accepted me finally. Let's go. But he's going for the Skelly Bat Donut first. And he's not going for the CC building. Okay. Wants the Expo. Wants two Expos. Wants a scatter shot as well. Boom. Gets it all. Clutch. Didn't bother bringing a poison spell. Rocket balloons on the right side. Gets a cannon. Gets a mortar. Sure. Inferno Baby Dragon gets in range of the air defense, though. I don't know if I... What is... is he expecting these three Inferno Babies to, like, get the Town Hall? Because air defenses are a thing. What the cap? 
Sir! Oh, I think he just needed the mortar to be dead. I don't know. This homie's confusing me. Starts a warden walk and the eagle locks onto the grand warden? What the? Bro, your warden ability might go off now. He's okay. I think. Queen? Sure. Poison Lizard? Pulls the Royal Champion. Then we send a Headhunter. Okay, healer switch to the Queen. Flame Flinger still flinging. But what the heck is going on? There's only a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock and we're just now dropping the Valkyries. I know they're fast, but are they that fast? I don't know. Headhunter, E-Titan, King all on the bottom side. Jumping spell gives us access to the middle of the base. Flame Flinger takes the Builder Hut. Flame Flinger goes to the right for the Inferno Tower. Hog Rider, Wizard, take the cannon out. Did he drop a free spell? He did. Pops a Warden ability, but we gotta fight Ice Golems. That's gonna take a hot minute. Flame Flinger is still going away from the Town Hall. A little worried about that. A little worried here for Mr. Hades. Still has a Royal Champion to use. Healer's trying to keep these uh, Valkyries alive, but they're all dead. He sends the Royal Champion on the left side of the base. Flinger goes for the Town Hall, but it's very low on health. Queen has all the healers on her. King goes down, Phoenix brings him back to life for 8 seconds, Royal Champion finds the Tornado Trap there on the left side of the base, there are Skeleton Traps distracting, no more spell support, we do have the Queen ability, we do have the Champion ability. Monolith locks onto the Queen, Rage Terror on the right side, not that big of a threat, Royal Champion goes down though, this is looking really sketchy. Queen picks up the Monolith, able to get the Sweeper and the Rage Terror on the right side. Flinger's gonna bust open. Super Minions, one dies right away. They need to get the Town Hall as Queen steps to the left and he's out of time. Is he gonna time fail to get the Town Hall? Four, three, two, one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Klaus is in with five lightning spell. Uh, I think he actually brought six. He just used one before I even looked. With an Earthquake, takes out an Inferno Tower, takes out an Expo, takes out an Air Sweeper. Okay. He's got a lot of love with a Valkyrie. Queen on the right side, King on the right side. Headhunter in as well. King going for the Scattershot, Queen walking up toward the Town Hall. Nice. Valkyrie Wizard to help support that Queen. King about to go to Phoenix ability. He'll get an extra Archer Tower because of it. Cool, cool, cool. A normal Wall Breaker. What the? Just to test where the Super Wall Breaker is going to go. I think. Queen might step inside the walls anyway. Ooh, that Wall Breaker did some wonky stuff. But Queen goes inside the walls. So all is good. <clears throat> One balloon to this rage tower. We start the Lalo Stone Slammer toward the rage tower. Queen ability. Ooh. She almost died through ability. That was almost scary, but she gets the town hall. Nice. Stone Slammer pulling CC troops. A lot of archers, a lot of super minions. Balloons making their way inside toward the eagle. A headhunter's going for the Grand Warden. He might have to pop the Warden ability there, and he does. Keeps the Stone Slammer alive as well. A spell on the bottom side. Ice Golem on the left. That Ice Golem might have been late. Not sure. Headhunters in the Warden ability. Take out the Archer Queen anyway. He's raging. He's freezing. Freezing again. Down goes that second Inferno Tower. Dragon Rider out of the Stone Slammer. Goes for the Monolith, but Tornado Trap hits. Monolith does too much damage. Dragon Rider goes down. Balloons making their way through. He's got a lot of balloons. He still has 11 more in his pocket, but not a single spell left to help support. Multi, test the farm on the top side of the base. He's going to need the Royal Champion. He's going to need the Diggy. Good thing he has both. RC can pop her ability if he wants. Diggy's there to stun, but double skeleton trap causing problems here, but no need to fear. The final group of balloons are here. They make their way all the way to the Inferno Tower, take it out, and now we just gotta get through the best air defense in the game, the Barbarian King, and it's easy peasy for Klaus. He's gonna be able to get it done. Yet another triple for Na'Vi here today, the only one on their team, not able to triple today, it was Synthi with the first attack. Rip. But overall, beautiful performance from Navi. 14 stars 
and they'll be walking away with the victory. Chihawawawa with the final attack of the match. Love this guy's name. Four healers, four electro dragons, one e-titan, and even an ice hound in the mix on this one. Okay. Start with Warden with the healers. Interesting. He's got a bat spell. He's got two invisibilities. Baby dragon to funnel on the left. Cool, cool, cool. Ice Hound, Bat Spell, E Drags are all in. A bunch of Teslas over here on the left side of the base. Poison Spell being utilized early for these archers. The Sneaky Goblins pull the Hound out. Maybe that wasn't ideal to use the Sneaky Goblins there. Awkward. Hound's gonna go to the Warden. And the E Titans are meant to get all the way through. The, I mean, the E Titans. The E Dragons are meant to get all the way through the. Ten what? The Cap. Oh, oh, is that gonna work? Oh. <laughs> it was cool, but it didn't work. Rip his Electro Dragons. The Town Hall stays up. He definitely meant for that Town Hall to go down. E Titan, Queen, King. Gonna fight the Hound. Gonna fight the Pops. Then they're gonna go inside. Switches to Plan B, which is the Battle Blimp. Soaring in for the Town Hall with an extra Rage Spell having to be used there as well. Awkward. Down goes that Town Hall thanks to the Yetis inside the Battle Blimp. He pops the King ability, sends the Royal Champion to the core. Pops the Warden ability. Did he really not get the King and the Warden ability? Oh my gosh, dude. This homie's slacking today. Slacking. Rage of the Champion, Rage of the Queen. Champion, Diggy, get through the Monolith. This King, Queen, Warden still pushing through the right side of the base, but the King goes down. Queen gonna start getting hit pretty hard. He's out of Rage spells. And it's gonna fizzle out gonna fizzle out for Mr. Chihawa. Queen pops ability. Diggy stuns the scatter shot. Gets through that. This queen's still pushing. He's got a lot of time. RC has ability. Did I call this too early, bro? Is this gonna triple? He awkwardly skipped one archer tower. They're not gonna come back for it. Royal Champion has the Diggy. She's dealing with all these upper Archer Towers. If the Royal Champion stays alive, this might triple. Otherwise, it might be a time fill. Diggy's continuing to stun these defenses. Queen stuck on Skelly Trap for a few seconds. RC has to go all the way back for this Archer Tower, then all the way down for this Archer Tower as the Queen goes up and starts dealing with cleanup. This might be a time fill for Mr. Chihawa. Imagine if his E-Drags took out the Town Hall. This would have been crushed. Rip. Or if he just brought some wizards for cleanup or something. Awkward. Down goes the Archer Tower. No more defense is left. It is indeed a time fill with three heroes still alive. Very nice try, Mr. Chihawa. Good recovery there. But early attacks. Only going to finish with the 11 stars. They got the time fill there and the one star. Rip and Navi with the 14 star win to 11. 97% to 93.